Hello my beautiful love goods and welcome back to my channel. Alrighty, editing Lukey here. Um, just want to tell you really, really quickly, this house, yes, I know, I blocked the front door because it was the one from the bathroom set and it's glass and it looks like a window. I know, trust me, I'm gonna, I, I fixed it before I uploaded. I just want to stop in really quickly before the video continues on. Yes, I block it. I fix it later. I'm sorry. I know it drove me crazy watching it back. So yeah, back to the video. In today's video, we are doing another let's build and Oops. <laughs> this one is going to be a uh, box house. Yes. So, like, I've heard, I've had com people leave comments in the past of them just saying, all I can do is build a box. And I'm like, well, just so you know, building a box, it can look cute. Just saying. If you want to go with a modern style, you can just start with the box and you can just do that. It'll look great. It's going to look amazing. So um, I got a picture on Pinterest. I will leave it linked down below. Let me pin it real quick so I don't forget that. Um, uh, but I'll leave it linked down below and, um, you know, I'll, you know, let you look at that if you'd like. But you don't necessarily have to use that reference. You can use anything. But we're going to just start with a box and that's it because we don't need to build anything too different like we're gonna start with well let me let me get the shot but we're gonna start with this and we're gonna change this into a modern aesthetic house so first thing you do is think of the style you want to go for I'm gonna go for modern of course and I want to go with like a dark timber and you know what? let's let's just filter by base game again let's make this another one of those base game oriented builds it doesn't have to be only base game but we'll you know we'll we'll use a little bit of something something and the next thing I would recommend is some kind of trim um, you don't necessarily have to do it on every single floor like you know that but what I do first is I will add a room up here um, and I don't like you can draw the you know a, a room yourself this way and do it or you can just go to the wall section here and click the flat square and just drag it and it doesn't look like it did anything but whenever you go to trim you can add a little trim and uh, you can kind of do anything I like to do this really really like thin one just because it adds a little bit of a trim without it sticking out too much and that's kind of what I'm seeing in this reference photo that I'm looking at and it also seems to be that the top floor here is taller so Varying your wall heights is a good way of utilizing The Sims 4 really well to kind of, you know, give some intrigue to a build, if you will. Um, and then we can just add a little bit of a foundation by clicking on a room and just dragging this up and down. You get a little, you get a little cute little foundation. And this house looks as though it's almost on stilts on part of it. And then the other part is just a regular concrete you know base so I think what we will we'll do I want to move the house if you want to move this house uh, or the whole lot at, at a time you can click this little little arrowy thingy here I don't know what you call it and um, you can click move house or move lot I usually will just do the house at first so that I can kind of just you know move it around to see what I want and I'm gonna move it a little bit farther back and there is a little bit of a deck here so um it actually is an angled deck which is pretty cool because it's it's got a really interesting shape so um to start with i'll just use a basic you know little piece and if you want to rotate things just use the little um the little arrow keysy thingies the period and the comma that's the ones <laughs> um and then we can just add shapes like this is kind of the way it is you know that's why I really enjoy building modern homes is you can very easily just kind of jump into them because they are boxes and then there are more boxes on that box and so forth and you know I've heard from a lot of creative people you know whenever you're building or not just building but whenever you're creating anything it's better to start with something very simple and rough and then you can kind of build from there um we're just gonna lower this a few notches because i don't know it's just it's just the way it looks in the picture um and then we will find just a little bit of a stairway leading up to the top 
um, doesn't matter too much. And uh, we'll add a little stilt, a little stilty stilt, a little stilty stilt. Uh, I'm gonna go with this kind of light toned color. I like that. Um, I was gonna do a solid foundation on this side though, so let's switch that over to this. I think that looks really good. Um, we could even use that. Ah, we'll just leave it there. So yeah, it, it, and like, it still seems very basic and simple and, and just kind of boring to some people. Uh, I, I disagree. Um, but I really love the way that modern builds look because they just, they're just, they're understated and they are just simple and clean and you know, to some people boring, but to me really, really cool. And just really, just, just really fun to build because you don't have to think about it too much when you're doing these either. Like you don't have to take forever in a day just to figure out like what you're gonna build, what shape, because you're starting with a very basic shape. So if you ever think, oh, I can just build a box. Awesome, that's great. You can build a box. That's not being, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, I'm not mocking you um, when I say that either. It's awesome that you can just start with a box. So um, just add some cute doors, some cute windows. We're gonna go with some custom content that is base game compatible uh, for the most part. And it is the bathroom set, of course. We, I will be sure to link the link in the description down below to this custom content. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and it, in this build, there is no windows on the very front except for just one right there. So I will go ahead and add that. Let's see, um, you can either just do, you know, this. I, I think I'll do that just so that it's not just like it just kind of breaks it up a bit. And then it's actually kind of interesting because this little section here, there is a wood box by the looks of it. So um, we don't really have anything uh, that would work for that. Um, I'm gonna try to not use just base game again, um, but I think we can use something that will work. This is honestly what came to mind when I saw that. Um, it's kind of just like a little wood box kind of thing. Um, let's see if I can make this work. Hmm. Maybe we'll just put it here or we can put it against the building here or we can just put it, make it really, really big and it kind of works. <laughs> I don't know. Um, see, that's the thing too. Whenever you have a, a, a house that is, you know, a box, uh, I will say it's really easy to just add decor to it because you don't have to like cram things in, you know, spaces or anything. You just... You just you just put it and put it and put it and forget it I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah let me find that once again and there we go keep it simple keep it basic um, and yeah I mean there really isn't too much to it and then obviously I don't see anything on the other sides of this house so I'm going to just add some windows um, I'm thinking I would more more rather more rather no that's not a word um, I think I would rather put the windows back here uh, on the um, just, just on the back of the house where they're definitely going to get those views because this is Brindleton Bay and I think that, you know, this being a view every day, oh my goodness, that would be, that, that that's a dream right there. And um, yeah, so here is another part of a little mini tutorial, I would say. I mean, obviously we're going to be starting with a box. That's the basis of this build. But I also want to throw in some tips and tricks throughout. So um, here is how you do a loft in this game. So um, obviously you can just take your stairs and place them down. Pretty simple, pretty basic, pretty every day. We'll put them right here so, you know, they don't take up all the space. And then as you can see, we have a space here where they are. Let's see. Kind of, can we bring it forward a little bit? No, we'll leave it there. Um, as you can see, we have a little bit of a space here. And if you want to make a loft, I would recommend finding a good place to put your stairs beforehand. Um, so I put it there, that could work, but let's try moving it here. Um, and as you can see, I changed it to this kind of sort of L-shaped orientation. And uh, this gives us a little bit more space to cut this out. So to make a loft work in this game. What you do is you get a fence of any kind. It doesn't matter what it is, any kind of railing, fence, what have you. I'm gonna use this because it looks pretty good. And just, you can see on the grid here where I want to kind of, you know, I wanna get rid of this flooring here, but I wanna keep this for the loft. So I'm just gonna draw out the fence. And as you can see, if I just leave it at that, if I just draw the fence to this point here, 
it gets rid of the whole floor when I demolish it. So what I do is I make sure to trace over this section where the stairs meet the, the what you call it, the floor. And then as you can see, it doesn't actually do anything. You can't really see anything happening there, but it does because it sectioned that off for you and now you have a double tall ceiling and it's amazing and now that i did that i kind of want to do some really fun windows up here i think that it's a shame for there to not be any windows in the front if i'm going to do a loft so i'm going to hit f5 to give myself some more little spaces and yeah that looks pretty fun I'm not sure if I love, love it, but you know, we, we got to experiment. That's one thing with these really simple modern builds is that you can experiment without, you know, without it being like crazy elaborate and difficult and just, you know, it's a good start. You know, if you want to get into building, um, I highly re recommend just starting with some very basic modern homes because it'll allow you to just kind of, you know, further your building skills without having to know how to do proper <laughs> house shapes because this is a box and it's super simple. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for the shape, honestly. And then the floor plan is something that I want to talk about too. Um, when I'm thinking of a floor plan, I always thinking about I always think about what Sims and what family I'm going to be building this for. This might be just for a single Sim or even a couple. So this is plenty of room for a bedroom space. So down here is where we're going to be putting a living room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. So um, I would say right here probably is a good space for a bathroom. And um, I might even make this like one notch bigger on the on the tiles here just uh just you know so i can have a little bit more ease of space when it comes to putting in a kitchen so um i like to do kitchens in the backs of houses most of the time especially with these modern homes i think they look pretty nice in the back and then right here will be a nice little living area um and yeah it's pretty simple i if you're wanting a basic sized bathroom i highly recommend just doing a two by three bathroom because you're able to have a sink a toilet and a shower slash bathtub or both uh, a combination of the two uh, in there and it will work fully and uh, you don't have to worry about it not having enough space for your sims to move around in and uh, you know the sims 4 is pretty good about routing issues and stuff but i will say you know there's still some still some issues there so um, i'm just going to do a little window there i would do like a very tiny window but you know it's the sims we can get by with you know having we can do this whole house in glass and the sims would not even notice because they don't care um we'll just add some more windows in here i might actually just um, do i do i get rid of this window it's such a fun window but it's kind of taking up a lot of space and you know it's not really working down here so um maybe we'll just go with a with a nice uh, bare bones basic window because you know we can never go wrong with basics again this is what this house is representing pure basics so yeah i mean hey i mean this is looking pretty good i think um i'm just going to shrink this down just so that uh it looks a little bit more better more better yeah you know what i mean um and i shrink that down with the bracket keys it's the it's the little keys above the enter key if uh, if you're using a an american or north american keyboard i'm pretty sure it's like that in most keyboards but you know i don't know <laughs> um but yeah, I always try to add a couple of windows uh, where the bed is. Like, as you can see, you can kind of see like right here, there's space for the bed. And so I would just put the bed here and look at that. There's so much space up here. It's actually really nice. Um, this is where a bit the bed would be. And I don't like putting a bed like in front of a window like this. Um, and I like to make sure that there's like this amount of area around it. Just so that your Sims can actually, you know, move around and get up and you know all that stuff without having to worry i mean routing issues again are not really a problem in this game but you know it happens sometimes so and i'm gonna use these mosquito windows out the back i think just to add some more light and all that good stuff and um i think we will actually add another little little deck area i think having a little bit of a bridge to it or something you know is kind of fun kind of like how it was in the front so i'm just gonna copy some stuff over do that fun stuff and look at that isn't that cool I, I really like the shape and look at this it's still a box it's still really basic but you've got all this all these elements just to kind of break up the uh break up the monotony a little bit 
because that's kind of what you just want to focus on is you know making sure that it's nicely laid out but also you don't have to overcomplicate it either that's that's a cool thing about modern design is you can kind of do whatever you want and it's just whatever um, and also when I say modern design I'm usually meaning contemporary it's just we have kind of adapted or adopted I'm not sure what word to use there um, we've just kind of went along with saying you know um, uh, what do you what do you call it <laughs> we just got we just went along with saying modern instead of contemporary simply because modern is just easier to say I don't know I'm not sure but it's just they're interchangeable at this point but so yeah there is the basics of the house it's pretty pretty easy it's it doesn't take a genius to uh, do these at all like I I, I l absolutely love reading your comments <laughs> of people saying they really enjoy my builds and all that and they don't they can never build like that which is wrong you can you can definitely build like this all you have to do is just 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 start somewhere simple and you'll get there um, but yeah look at that isn't that great I love it I love this house I, let's go ahead and just finish building it um, I might change the exterior honestly I like these paneling but they're a little bit light I'd like to have something that's a bit darker um, we can try the ones from spa day here which honestly are really nice but they're not really too too different in color like they're kind of the same I kind of like combining those though that's pretty fun we can also use this actually though this is really nice again here's another thing I recommend when you're building uh, a modern house uh, try to throw in some natural rougher looking elements because this is like a paneling from spooky stuff it's supposed to be like haunted house paneling but it looks so good it looks like charred like it looks like charred upcycled wood um, so yeah, I think what I'm like to, what I like, would like to add, wow, I cannot speak today, um, is a green roof because actually I've heard green roofs are not quite as efficient as people think they are. Um, I, that, that could be a misconception. I'm not really sure, but, um, I've heard that, uh, the, gr that green walls are actually way more efficient. So I might add that into, but, um, I'm actually going to go into the show live edit objects, objects cheat, um, just so that I can, you know, get some more variety in my landscape stuff. I did not type it in correctly. Apparently BB dot show live edit objects. True. Okay, I tapped it in correctly this time. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I, I recommend if you have these packs filter by get together and cats and dogs, they have some really good world items, obviously. Um, they're such beautiful worlds. And uh, I always go for this because it's a little like if you look at uh, the the kind from the base game uh they look very green and these are a little bit less green i don't know i'm just speaking out, out of my head at this point but yeah let's just add in some greenery i like to do this again this is a good way of like breaking up the shapes of modern homes because um it's just it's just easy and simple and clean and you know, it adds a lot of texture, you know? And I think what we'll do is we'll actually make this side a green wall side. So we will just grab some of this ivy from Get Together. And I, what I like to do, if you have these packs, I like to take the ivy from Get Together and then this, this ivy from uh, the Vampire Game Pack and combine them. And it just looks like two different things. It's really cool. And there's also this, which is really awesome. I like to enlarge it um, and the cool thing is I don't know if this was intentional or not uh, but the um, what do you call it the, the ivy from a vampire game pack whenever you put it over a window you can't you can't actually see it through the window like it's kind of bizarre but kind of really awesome this ivy from get together you can see but I don't know it's just a really cool little detail that I think is awesome because you can go crazy with the ivy on the outside but you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about it covering your windows and you know taking away the light and I don't know but yeah there's a little green wall there I just used I just held down the alt key and uh, the shift key just to kind of go crazy with it um, 
pretty cool, I think. And uh, yeah, I think what we'll also do really quickly before I move on to the interior is I want to go ahead and add a bit of some landscaping on the outside. Uh, nothing too crazy, of course, because I don't want to, you know, see, be here forever because, you know, we don't. But um, I will just go to Cats and Dogs and get together and just filter that and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And uh, we can just add some, you know, just add some fun little bits of grass. Nothing too crazy. Um, if we want to, that adds in a little bit of texture. And these are really fun. This is from uh, Get Together. And they're just these like little weed thingies. I don't know why I love these so much, but they're just, they just add a little bit of texture, a little bit of height. I don't know, it's, it's the little things, I guess. Um, but let me find, uh, the cool thing is a lot of these are, all these actually are uh, zero simoleons, so you can decorate your starter homes. And uh, I use this a lot. This is basically um, the world edit object version of the low lying pale yellow flowers. We know that I love using those because I use them in like every single build and it's kind of amazing and it's kind of a little bit overdone, but it's kind of amazing at the same time. Um, but. Yeah, looking pretty good, honestly. I'm kind of here for it. It's kind of awesome. Um, and uh, there's not really any point in putting like a driveway or anything on this build just because, you know, it seems kind of silly at this point because, you know, there's no way to realistically do that. And uh, a little quick way too that I'd like to add uh, in a bit of landscaping is I just go in, I put a tree, I put some grass or some flowers next to it like this. These would also work equally well and just, you know a few other flowers and you're kind of golden at this point like landscaping in the sims 4 is kind of annoying at this point because you know the whole glitch thing as you can see like this is one of the glitches where you can't really <laughs> overlap things very easily but with what you can do is just kind of put in bigger plants and just kind of take your time with it and uh yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty dang on simple, but it looks pretty good, I think, uh, to, you know, pat myself on my own back, I guess. Uh, it uh, adds a little bit of shape, and it's pretty fun, and I'll go ahead and start the interior, and we'll go with some bare bone, basic, simple stuff. We'll do some Simkia stuff by Illogical Sims. Uh, I think, actually, maybe we can go with something like uh, that I'm not used to using. Maybe we can go with like a dark gray. Ooh, I never go with a dark gray or a brown even. I don't know though. I kind of am feeling uh, doing some like paneling or something. I feel like that just works in my head. So let's go with like a nice light gray paneling maybe, or we can go with a color. Ooh, now the blue is different. I actually quite like that. So we'll go with the blue. That's something a little fun and different. And sometimes you got to experiment. So, uh, cause I tend to go with just white walls all the time. So, and if you don't want it to be all matchy matchy, I recommend alternating the wall colors like this. So like I'll skip a wall and uh, just add in some white ones just so that, you know, it's not just all the same color. We don't want it to be super matchy matchy. And that really breaks it up quite nicely. And I'm just going to use the same timber that I used outside, inside, because it just it, it just brings it all together. So, um, and lights, of course, are very important. <laughs> um, if you couldn't tell, uh, I would. I always recommend getting the subtle saucer light, and uh, you know, shrinking it down and placing it in specific spots that make sense instead of just throwing them everywhere. Um, 1000% shading every other builder in this community. I genuinely hurt. Like my brain hurts whenever they just do this. <laughs> no, my, I, 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 that's some Aries nonsense. I, I'm a Virgo, I mean, I'm not really a Virgo. I'm a Leo Virgo cusp. I was born on the cusp of it, but still I have the Virgo in me. And I ain't here for it, so um, I'm a Virgo. <laughs> so um, why don't we go like classy with this house and give a chandelier? Ooh, ah, fun. You know, bougie. Even though it's kind of a lofty house, it's kind of bougie. Why not? Ooh, that actually looks so good. Let's move it over. Actually, let's do it right there. Look at that's now that's a view right there. 
Oh, I love that. That's so cool. I'm, I just discovered something new. I love that. But anyway, I'm going to keep this house fairly simple uh, with the decor. Um, I'm going to be using some Kia stuff. <laughs> What else is new? Um, I love Sim Kia Furnishings Pack by Illogical Sims. It's one of the best CC packs to this day. 1000% um, will recommend it. Uh, please check out the link in the description down below for that pack. Um, just, just, just download it. It's great. It's am it's amazing. It's amazing, um, and I just love it so, so much. But. And Cool Kitchen is my favorite, one of my favorite stuff packs. I know a lot of people probably didn't love it when it came out. They were probably a bit underwhelmed, which is understandable. I mean, everybody has their own opinions, but uh, I personally love this pack. It's got some good content. It's got a nice stove. I might actually put the stove over here just to be a little bit different. Why not? Um, actually, what if we did mostly the kitchen over here and then this little corner is the dining space that's that's not too crazy right so yeah and whenever i'm building kitchens i like to make sure there's at least one counter space separate from you know a sink and the you know the stove and everything like this has two separate counter spaces so that works pretty dang well we could even uh, just throw another one here and then put another wall here just to break up that room uh, that's a little trick too is if you want it to be an open concept but you also don't want to section it off completely just add these walls um, if you if you really want something there that looks like an archway but not an actual archway basically go into the uh, spandrel section find the one you want to use, hold down the alt key. That's very important because if you do shift, it does the whole room. If you hold down alt, it does one wall, like one section and just click where you need it to go and boom, it's there and it's awesome. And it sections it off visually, but it's still open. It's still an open concept. So there's another little tip for the day. I just thought I'd throw that out there for you. So, um, and let's find a nice basic couch to place down. Um, I could just go with the base game one, but I'm really not feeling it. I really want to use something from a different pack, just something fun. Um, I really wish we got more swatches with that. I really wish we had like a specific like black swatch. Here we go. This one couch from Island Living is one of my favorites. It's so simple, but also really like fresh. It's not like stale and modern. It just, it it's just nice. It's just really nice. And we'll go with this really nice fireplace. We need to center this because I am not that chaotic. <laughs> and we will do a little, um, little dining space here I think we'll use this table from city living I don't really use it that often um, I guess we can just do it against the, the window <laughs> that sounded weird um, so we can just put it there and uh, use this Ooh, uh, should we throw in a bit of color or a little bit of just white pops Ooh, the bit of color though oh no <laughs> see this is where this is where the build starts to change because i see this rich beautiful orangey wood and i'm like i need to use it i need to use it Ooh. Ooh. i mean i'm i'm thinking i'm gonna go with this oh that's a, now that that y'all <laughs> that's a punch because the blue like this light blue and this punchy orangey wood Ooh, chef's kiss honey where that's coming from i don't know why i started saying chef's kiss where did that come from make it stop somebody and i think to keep it from being like crazy powerful orangey outside um i'll just use the other version of it and i'm gonna change it up again let's just go crazy let's just do some stone <laughs> because why not why not um Again, I am a little bit chaotic sometimes, but this looks really nice, actually. This looks really pretty. I'm here for it. It's very bold, but I'm here for it. So um, I'm going to add another white wall there just to kind of offset that. Um, but yeah, I, the thing about building houses in The Sims is you kind of have to start from a very simple space, a, a very simple, very basic shape you know an artist once told me on youtube uh, he he didn't tell me <laughs> I, wa I was watching a youtube video and he said that you know some advice that he got a long time ago uh when he from an artist like a really famous artist was draw the same th draw pick something and draw the same thing every day you can take this advice literally in this case, or you can just be like, oh, so I'm gonna just start with the same shape every day 
and then go from there and we'll see what happens. And you know what? It works because if you start with a box, you're going to, you know, have a place to start and you're going to build something different every time. Even if you try to build the same thing, you're going to, you're going to be swayed to use, you know, a different item, you know, just because you saw it in your catalog and you're like, oh, wait a minute, I might try using this today. Or, oh, I might try, try uh, building in this shape instead. Maybe we'll change this up. You know, you just kind of slowly slide into doing it, you know, nothing too crazy. You don't, you don't have to build an elaborate mansion and, you know, to be satisfied with a build in The Sims 4. Um, because, you know me, I don't build mansions. I can't build a mansion. Are you kidding me? Would you see me building a mansion? I mean, I could try, but uh, -uh honey, I, I, no, <laughs> I'm not about doing that right now because that's, that's a lot. So I think I'm actually going to use the chair from Island Living also. This is just a really nice little set. This little couch and, this little couch and chair. I would have liked a love seat version, but you know, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, we'll just place down a nice little rug, nothing too elaborate or busy because I like minimal design, to be honest. I don't like it when it's like overly cluttered, especially in my real like personal life. I'm not a clutter person. I don't like clutter. I, I, w I will be in someone's house and see clutter and be like, how can you live like this? <laughs> like, I just, I just can't, I just can't. It's just, mm, absolutely not. Um, I'm going to use this custom content door from the Tiny Living Plus set. I just want to. It, it goes along with this door, but it's not got the window, so it's super handy. And I, ooh, actually, let's put the chair over here. And this is where I do a stupid and put a chair in front of the front door. Thankfully, there's another door on the side, so if I had left it this way, your Sims could have technically still gotten into the house. But, um... Yeah, I did a stupid, and I wasn't paying attention. So yeah, uh, that's what happens. So classic Lukey, am I right? Here, and then we'll put a desk here because there really is there is space upstairs for a desk. But I really like the idea of them having. A... Excuse me, Google. Why is she talking to me? That was really weird. Okay, my house is haunted um, because my desk just came on. My desk? No, my phone just came on and Google was like, I don't understand. I wasn't talking to you, honey. I didn't say a word to you, so never mind. Um, anywho, um, I'm just going to put down a simple desk. Do we want to use this desk in that color or do we want to do white? Or do we want to do gray? Ooh, the gray though. The gray is actually quite nice. The gray actually would be good to use somewhere here so that it kind of carries the um, carries the gray from the kitchen into here so that it's not just all um, black and white, which is pretty easy for me to get into doing. Actually, that looks really good. I like this a lot. Um, this is looking nice. This is looking pretty good. I hope you all are learning a lot from these little uh, Let's Builds. I honestly really enjoy watching Let's Builds. I know that they are a bit longer than regular speed builds, and I'm not going to give up doing speed builds whatsoever. I really enjoy doing speed builds, but, um, you know, sometimes it's nice to just kind of casually just sit here and chat and uh, get some builds done. It's, it's fun. It's nice. And it's relaxing, and, you know, I don't have to think too much. I feel like... I am, you know, working on a build and getting something done. Um, this is a toilet from the bathroom set. If you want to like to know, it's very, very nice, and uh, highly recommend that pack as also as as also as well. That's that's the word, Luke. Um, and I'm gonna use this nice sink from it as well. It's very modern, but there is some really fun like wood swatches that I think actually look really nice in this house. Um, but we could do that. We could just do white. Let's just do white. We love a nice crisp white, uh, like base for something, um, like a like a countertop, for example. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I am really enjoying these types of videos. It's just really nice and casual and simple, and I don't have to think too much. And you know, like I said earlier, it's just it's just nice. I love this little soap thingy from uh, the bathroom set. It's so great. And some, a toothbrush and then here I might actually do a custom shower so um, this is a shower that's from Discover University and they actually added another one in the bathroom set by Harry and Felixander it's super nice um, I'm gonna do a custom shower so 
what I might do is I actually might make the whole room uh, like tiling. So I've been really obsessed with this tile and I kind of want to go with just like a bright blue, just go with something wild. Um, I feel like that would actually really pop really well in this like kind of beachy environment. I feel like it would really go along with it quite well. So we will go with that uh, wherever is the uh, wall version. See, that's just, it's extra, but I kind of love it. Like it's, it looks like something that a, um, like a designer would do. Like we added these custom tiles uh, that were handmade, each individually and hand placed and hand polished and painted. And we placed them down to represent the flowing waves that is Brindleton Bay or something like that, you know? And uh, why not use a custom content painting in the bathroom? Because these are by Dream Team Sims, by the way. Um, I'm pretty sure they just converted some of these from The Sims 3 um, by, by Bow 5. Recolors by Ninja Re U Unicorn. I don't really know, but I'll leave a link down below where I got these. Um, Hopefully I can find the link. Um, it's been a while since I've downloaded them. Um, I think we'll just do a uh, fun, just kind of quirky. This is a really weird painting. It's got some really fun paintings in it. And so does this one. Let's just put it and see what we've got. I have to be careful because one of these, <laughs> okay, it's not this one. It's definitely one of these. I cannot remember, but one of them is like, it's got like a naked man in it, so I have to be careful. Like, yeah, some of them do, but like one of them is like very like, um, <laughs> we'll do this one, I like that. It's very, or no, is that a little too email? We'll do that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, it's very um, revealing, let's just say. Um, but let's just throw in some decor. Um, I like using this little shelf from the Simkia pack uh, in the showers. I don't know why, It just it just looks kind of cute being here you can put it there you can put it here actually let's put it there I like that and um, just I like the idea of it being like an open shower I don't know it just it just it's no fuss there's nothing in the way you know there's no curtain to clean there's no door to clean it's just open you just got to clean this tiles once in a while which probably is quite annoying I would say but uh, um, okay so here is another little bit of a move objects trick so see how I place this item down and then I'm like oh I want to you know move it into this little corner here instead of it just being in the middle so what I do is with move objects on be, sh be sure to type in bb dot move objects on and grab a hold of the item and hold down your alt key and obviously that's not going to do anything if I keep my little cursor up here so what I do is I move my cursor all the way down and you can see when I do that it's almost as if I'm holding it right down here but I'm not it's floating so I can easily tuck this into the corner here and boom, boom it's good y'all and I'm pretty sure I can do the same thing on the top here as well look at that isn't that super fun and I can enlarge this item with the um, what is this messaging I keep getting? This little thing here. I'm gonna check my messages really quickly. So BRB. Alrighty, I am back. I just had to respond to some text messages. Um, they were from work, which is a good thing, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go into details about everything. I don't wanna like, you know, talk about current events too, too much. I want to, I want y'all to be able to escape. So I'm going to continue cluttering this up a bit. Uh, we'll just throw in some towels, maybe. I like the black accents. I'm kind of feeling it. So let's just put the towels. I guess we can put the towels inside this little shelf or towel. Do we do towels? Let's put two. Um, and then we can just put some bottles of, you know, just like stuff. Uh, these little uh, bottles of just like products here from the bathroom set are so cute. I love them. They just look so great. I uh, honestly shout out to Harry and Felixander. They are amazing. I love them so much. Their, their content is just so great. But um, yeah, nice and simple little bathroom, simple little place. Nothing too crazy and elaborate, of course, but you know, with building modern homes, you don't have to be like, they don't have to be crazy and just, you know, um, <laughs> elaborate. What other words am I going to use today? I don't know. Probably none. Um, Oh, okay, I've actually wanted to share this with you all. These blinds from university are so awesome because when you um, like put them together with the move objects and raise them up with the nine and zero keys, look at how seamless that looks. 
Isn't that awesome? I don't know why. I just love that so much. It's just so great. Uh, it's such a tiny little detail, but it's just, I don't know. We love the, we love little good, we, we love good little details. I'm sure EA didn't really intend that, but maybe they did. Oh no, that's not uh, lined up. <laughs> no, wait a minute, what's happening? Why isn't that lined up? Okay, it lined up, okay, <laughs> y'all. The Virgo energy was not having it today. It's not having it today. It's like chaos, chaos? I think not. <laughs> I'm channeling my inner Jenna Marbles. So um, yeah, I also have the too much gene like Jenna Marbles too, so. <laughs> Yeah, I can relate to her. Um, what are your all's favorite YouTubers right now? Um, obviously, Jenna Marbles is always going to be one of my favorites of all time. I absolutely love Jenna Marbles, but there are other YouTubers that I've been watching lately, too. Um, Grackle is a really awesome YouTuber. Um, she is a British YouTuber. She's so great. I just love her. She just has really good ideas, and she just has really simple like ideas, and her videos are just fun and just... I, I don't know, I just really like her. Wholesome content, 10 out of 10 will recommend, um, with, without a doubt. Um, ooh, here's a nice little nook here. I think this would actually be a nice little place to put a radio, uh, just so that, you know, they can have something to listen to without it being in the way, of course. And, you know, we love plants. We need lots of plants. Put as many plants as you can. Another building tip for building modern houses put all the plants i mean everywhere everywhere fill it full of plants until you think it's too much and then add more because guess what guess what that is gonna break it up it's gonna make it less you know boring and boxy it's gonna liven it up it's gonna add some you know textures and colors and just all sorts of stuff to break all that up and it's gonna look amazing afterwards even if, even if it looks like it's a mess. Sometimes a mess is beautiful. <laughs> you know, Lukey, uh, 2020. Sometimes a mess is beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're getting into the rambly section of the video where I'm just kind of nitpicking. Um, if you would like to uh, s skip on ahead, I don't mind. Uh, but uh, let's just, this is a recipe book, let's just say. And uh, we'll just add some decor. We'll just do a little knife block. We don't own a knife block. Do you own a knife block in your house? You know, whether you live at home with your parents or, you know, you live alone. Do you, do you own a knife block? Because I, we do not. Um, I think I'm going to change this wood tone to orangey because, I don't know, it just looks good. I don't know, it just looks nice, okay? Um, but yeah, we'll keep it simple in here. What I like to do whenever I'm building kitchens is, so that it's not so dark, I will actually take this light here from the um, the base game. And this is one of the ones that you have to unlock with that ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement cheat. Um, if you're in free build mode, like how I am, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, but it's just this thin little light and it's so perfect for putting above like a stove or a sink underneath a shelf. Um, if Even if you can see it, it looks nice and sleek and just clean and we love simplicity. And uh, these are shelves from the Ikea set and they're really, really nice to clutter up. So let's just throw some stuff. You don't have to go crazy. Um, like I said, uh, we'll just put some tea here. I love tea. Do you all like tea? I'm definitely, I'm definitely, <laughs> Good lord. I don't know what my accent is some days. Some days I'm like, am I Midwestern? Am I in this Ohio Valley accent? Or is it the Appalachians coming in? I don't know. Um, but uh, do you like tea? My favorite tea, honestly, it's, it's hard because I love chai so much. Uh, but I also am definitely a Earl Grey lover. I love me an Earl Grey. It's just very fancy, but very simple. It's uh, it's very bergamotty. I don't know what I'm what I'm doing this accent for. <laughs> Need to stop. Um, but yeah, what is your favorite tea? Um, what's your favorite brand? I would like to know some. Um, I would like some brand recommendations for sure. Cause I'm looking for some really good brands that are you know ethical and eco friendly. Because the brand that I currently buy is just a cheap brand on Amazon and. Um, it ain't it. It ain't it. It's good tea. It tastes nice, but um, it um, it's not very eco-friendly because 
it's a lot of plastic. Every one of the little packages are wrapped in plastic, which I don't like, but I can't seem to find, at least in my area, a good like flavor of tea that is that is like not wrapped in plastic, you know? But yeah, um, that's looking pretty good. We need a little dish rack and I think that would be it for the kitchen. Um, I always like using these little spice little thingies too above the stove. I just, I don't know. There's something so fun about them. Um, and those are not the colors I wanted. Let's change them to orange or blue or both. <laughs> Mismatch things. That's also a good way to make a uh, modern build really kind of pop and stand out is, you know, if you'd like to just go in and just add a little bit of a different color somewhere so that they're not all super matchy matchy. Like, look at that. Ooh, those are actually nice in the orange. Ooh, I like that. Okay. <laughs> See, I do have the too much gene, just like our girl Jenna, you know, we love her. Um, we have the, we, we have the too much gene also. Um, but yeah, I think that's honestly it for the kitchen. I do want to add a bin. I know I'm going to add a bin y'all leave me alone. Stop dragging me. I know I forget the bins in the mailboxes all the time. It's a thing I just don't think about because I don't know. It's not that I don't have one in my house, but it's just that I don't think about it being a decorative item, so I don't think about it anyway. Um, okay, so I want to put a painting here too, and then we will go on to the upstairs. I'm going to use a CC painting too, I think. These are really cool. These are just really fun art pieces. Uh, this is by, the art is by Alejandro Pascali. Pascali? Pascal? You don't, I don't know. I'm sure this is like a contemporary artist. Love that, honestly. It's really fun. Um, but yeah, see how minimal and simple it is. It's not over, overbearingly cluttered. Now there is space for clutter when it comes to builds. 1000%. I love clutter. I do. But when it comes to modern homes, I really don't like it to be overdone and over cluttered and just, I like to keep it really simple and really clean because I'm, I'm that person in real life, to be honest. Like I might seem like this quirky, just like, oh my God, I'm quirky. But in all actuality, I'm definitely a, not a minimalist, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm like borderline that because I can't stand clutter. I can't stand anything at all. And where is the daggone dish rack? Like, can we please just find the daggone dish rack so I can put this down so I can move on to the upstairs? That would be nice. We'll just use this one because I can't find the other. Um, that's fine. But moving on to the upstairs, the loft, if you will. Look at, oh, look at that. Don't you just love that? I might even, oh, actually I need to finish placing these down. If I'm gonna place them down on all the windows, then they're gonna go on all the windows. So um, I, I recommend if you're like doing this, you like do the, use the shift key on the other side of the keyboard where the uh, um, the nine key is and the, um, the bracket key is. <laughs> wow, I couldn't think of the words. Um, so that uh, you can have them, um, yeah, so you can do it with one hand on that one side. That's what I was trying to say. Um, Cause you know, I cannot English. There, I can't speak very well either. Whenever I'm doing something like this, I tend to ramble, but when I try to say something specifically about what I'm doing, I can't, I can't put words together and my dog's barking because you know, they like to stir him up like crazy and I'm not gonna bother editing anything. So, you know, it's all good, um, but I'm gonna go with something simple. We might just do something a little fun up here though, like something like these. Those are fun. I don't know if that's really fitting, but you know, those are an interesting thing to use. Um, that's something else too with building modern homes is throw in something that's quirky once in a while. Um, so we could just do this, um, throw in a little bit of a quirkiness, but keep the colors about the same. It doesn't have to be like, like now if I place this down and I did it in this color, yeah, it's kind of a statement. But in my opinion, I like it to kind of blend in, sort of, but still kind of stand out a little bit. Um, 
I don't know if that made sense, but I hope it did. Uh, but uh, I'll just use this also just to kind of break it up. I don't know, let's just do it on both sides. Why not? Maybe they got two. Maybe they were at a boot sale, whatever they call it in the UK, uh, a car boot sale, uh, a garage sale, a yard sale, a tag sale. Apparently that's what, what y'all call it in New England. Shout out to, you know, the New England love goods. Um, I, I, I've never heard of that. I was reading an article the other day and I was like, wow, this is really interesting. Also bananas, because I have never heard people call these things, these things, or these things, this, you know what I mean? I'm in Kentucky, so we say all sorts of weird stuff. Like for example, uh, we say sometimes for lunch, instead of saying lunch, we'll say dinner. <laughs> and for dinner, we say supper, obviously. Um, because we gotta be weird like that, don't we? Ooh, these go up on the wall. Uh, I love that. Um, actually, I'm gonna go again with another little statement piece. We, we're gonna use this one mirror from Jungle Adventure. I think that looks... Uh, I don't know, though. I'm not sure if I like that. I like it as the mirror, uh, like leaning against the wall by itself. But I'm not a fan of it being on that thing because it looks like it's about to fall off. So let's just move this to this side because that actually looks pretty good to be honest it fits there quite nicely and then we'll place that mirror there because i think it's a pretty fun statement piece it it livens it up a bit it keeps it from being so boring and you know just it adds a little something something and we'll use this from the bathroom set also isn't that so nice or is it the kitchen set it's the bathroom set um and we'll add in some lights and maybe a bit of art and uh, some decor outside. And I think we'll kind of be done with this build, y'all. Um, it was a really fun build. I actually really enjoyed it a lot. I think that these builds have so much character to me. I know that some people might disagree with that and they might say that modern builds are quite boring and sterile, but they don't have to be. You can add in anything you want. Um, I don't know. I don't really understand half of these, but we're gonna go with it. <laughs> Let's just see what we've got here. Oh, ah, these are, um, these are interesting. Oh, these are actually really cool though. <laughs> ooh, ooh, now that's a vibe. I like that. <laughs> um, modern art, I, in real life, think is overrated, but in The Sims, it looks really nice. And I did put a lot of these plants around because I really like those plants. They're nice plants. <laughs> um, and I think actually, I've seen people do this. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit fun. I'm going to use these uh, ceiling lights from the fitness. It's the fitness stuff pack. That's a random pack. Um, and I'm going to put them like hanging down so that they are, are like lights that they're used on the sides, if you know what I mean. I don't really, I don't really know how the other way of explaining it, but that looks kind of fun, right? Yeah, yeah, that looks really fun and interesting. Yeah, that looks cool. I can say that over and over. Um, but that frees up these little tables uh, to be cluttered with just like little, little succulents and, you know, these little fun things. These are actually the, the little succulents from Discovery University, but they have sep that um, they, as in Brazen Lotus, have separated them from the themselves. So I'm describing that really horribly, uh, but you know what I mean. They're liberated and uh, you can use them separately. And I'll leave a link in the description down below if I remember. So scream at me if I don't, but yeah. Let me just find something else to put here. Um, let's do... We'll just do some magazines, because why not? That That's pretty realistic, right? They watch a magazine in the morning. And then I think on the other side, we will throw in a little clock. I really want some more clocks for The Sims 4. I think we, I really want like a little modern, like looking little clock. That would be look, that would be looking great. Yes, that would look great. Um, and I think, you know, why not a TV, even though they already have one downstairs. Could, could you have enough TVs? I don't think so. And you know what? Since they're upstairs, let's give them a little bit of a bigger one. There we go. Looking nice, looking fresh, looking fresh. And I think instead of using the um, the uh, blinds that we use, I kind of want to use these curtains. Uh, these are from the bathroom set as well, and they're just so pretty. They're sheer, so they block out some of the light, but visually you can still see through them, and it works. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, chef's kiss. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Um, 
I'm throwing a punch of orange with this plant. That's such a nice plant. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's, y'all, y'all. I, I, I just love modern homes. Um, they're just so fun. They're just so quirky and strange, but simple. I don't know, but that's the interior of the house. I think out here would be a, a really good place to, I might actually move this staircase over on this side so that they can just step out onto the beach whenever they need. And uh, I'm gonna change this to this from season so that it blends a bit more. I like to blend in the stairs with the flooring as much as I can. Um, how does that look? That actually doesn't look bad either. I do like that look though. It looks like it's been a little bit, you know, out in the sun for a bit and it's kind of like, the sun has kind of bleached it out just a tiny bit. I don't know, but I'll add in a nice little uh, hot tub or jacuzzi, if you call it that, over where you are from. Because I know that in other places they tend to call it a jacuzzi, so I call it a hot tub. I don't know why, but I guess it's just regional. Um, we'll just do that. And uh, little decor items that I like to put around these, just for some privacy. Um, I think that the uh, these room dividers from, I think it's from City Living. Um, we could use these, which actually wouldn't be too bad either. Huh, we'll see. We can use those or we can use, oh, those are different. What is this? Fashion Studio Backdrop Straight. Oh, so I can't use it. Um, uh, we could use this from... <laughs> so, yeah, I think what I will do is... Move the mic in front of my face. Um, but uh, is just do a little decorative kind of enclosure like around the back of this maybe just so that there's a bit of privacy for these sims so they're not like you know the people on the the, the bypass over here the road or whatever they call it <laughs> uh they aren't like you know spying on these sims having woohoo in the hot tub being all being all extra and those room dividers by from the bathroom set line up perfectly with these columns <gasps> Love that. Love that for her. Um, so I think also I might add a small, uh, just a little, what you call it, uh, just a little bit of an awning, I guess, uh, over this, just so that it adds a bit of, you know, protection, you know, maybe, maybe it keeps some wind off. Maybe it's just, you know, for looks. I don't know, but yeah, um, but this build is pretty much done. I mean, there really isn't much else we could add to this. I mean, I'll add a little bit of a bobby to it or something like that. Um, maybe we'll just put one like this. Um, this is not really well done out here in the back, but you know, it's 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 fine. It doesn't have to be over complicated. Um, for these little let's builds, um, however long or short the videos are, I don't want the builds to be super elaborate. Like I want you all to be able to kind of follow along with me even. Like I don't mind if you like directly copy this build exactly and you know, just you know, build and have a good time. You know, that's part of it. So uh, do whatever you want. You can either, um, you know, just kind of follow along or you can, uh, you know, use it as a guideline and, you know, build your own uh, interesting house, um, whatever you want to do. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it for this house. Uh, I will try to, down uh, to download this, to upload this to the gallery. Uh, just be sure to look for my username, Luki Dean, and the hashtag Luki, and uh, you should be able to find it. So um, sorry if you heard any background noise, such as dogs, bark dogs barking and people coughing their heads off because they have bronchitis and they won't do anything about it tea to my mother um but yeah i hope you all have a really good rest of your day be sure to stay hydrated stay healthy stay home for the love of all things holy keep your but home, I swear, if I hear you going out for no reason other than food and, you know, necessity like work, I, I, I'm going to get mad. I'm going to be mad. And you ain't allowed in, you ain't allowed in the love goods no more. I'm sorry. You can't do this. Like, you can't be that way. You can't just, no, absolutely not. Stay home. Stay home, please. Just, just stay 
home, okay? It's so easy. It's so simple. And I'm not taking out my frustrations on people in my personal life onto you. No, at all. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, please just, please stay home. Please stay safe. I, I love you all. And, you know, I would hate for anything to happen to any of my love goods. So please stay home and stay safe. But anyway, rant aside, um, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. That is pretty much it. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird and beware of the Nargles.